I think it's fantastic for Manchester. I think it's something that um, we need to take a lot of pride in. An amazing way of getting people who mostly just sit and watch history on the telly together with more kind of in-depth history buffs. It's an amazing opportunity. It's shaking off the dust of heritage. The History Week in Manchester focuses on the history of the ordinary people. I'm really interested in cultural history. That's why I volunteered at the festival. People come together and that's the important thing. We, I enjoy getting involved in all this uh, local history. You know, I want it to keep on going on and on. Like. We are proud that our work has been shown in museums. Where history sits within the community and how it can bring different generations together. How excited were you today to be a part of the Manchester History Festival? Yeah, you're really excited. And maybe just once every year, every couple of years, we should stand back a little bit and say, this is what Manchester's achieved. I think it's important that we celebrate our heritage, and a lot of it is about identity. And I've been particularly struck by how much is going on in the town hall, but also how much is going on online and actually out in Manchester where people are doing things and getting involved and tweeting and Facebooking, and that's really exciting. What we've been doing today is, is showing people the possibilities built on some of the good things that happened in the past that can inform our future. In Manchester it's hugely important because this is the industrial city. Today, for example, we launched five new fanzines on the back of that, all done by young people who have absorbed the history and are using that history to create the future, I guess. I just think it's absolutely wonderful. It's, it can only be ongoing. It can, it's got to go on. It's like our once upon a time. It'll never finish. I don't think it will. of the projects and lots of the organisations here have had funding from us so it's great for us to see all the projects actually come together in, in one place. Lots of society, historical groups and societies that I never knew existed. Um, I picked up lo loads of leaflets, I probably emailed them all and joined lots of them. Well, I think it's, it's brilliant Manchester because it's just got such a radical kind of political, historical tradition. Over a third of the people who came said they'd never been to history and heritage event before. So I think it demonstrates there's a real enthusiasm and passion for history and heritage. And obviously it wouldn't have taken place without our key funders, which were University of Manchester, Manchester Metropolitan University and the Renaissance Northwest. It certainly wouldn't have happened without the hundreds of organisations and individuals who put their time and energy and resource in for free. And it's really exciting to think of how we can build on that for the next festival in 2014.